Even after your last quarter, IAC continues to trade at a discount to your stakes in Match and Angie Home Services. And of course, for those who aren't initiated, it means that the rest of your company, the so-called stub assets, right? Uh, Vimeo, of course, which lots of people are familiar with, applications publishing, and more than a billion dollars in cash yep. is being valued at less than zero. Yes, a negative billion. Well, that excludes the cash. But so all those businesses valued at a negative billion as of yesterday. Yes. So besides talking about it with me right here, what are you doing about that? What can you do about that as the CEO? I, look, we've done a lot of things. I think the discount was bigger, actually, historically. It so it's smaller than, than, than maybe it's ever been. But uh, So we'll give you credit for progress. <laughs> right. Look, I, I think that there's three reasons why the street in general discounts collections of assets. I don't want to use the word conglomerate because I do think of us as an anti-conglomerate. But what they say is, we'll either number one, we'll never get access to, to those businesses directly. We've spun off. I don't know how many businesses, 10 businesses or something like that, eight businesses in, in the past, or, or spun businesses have spun off businesses. Um, they say uh, we'll never get access to the cash uh, or you'll squander the cash before we have a chance to get access to it. I think we've been pretty good capital allocators over the last few years. And when we look at the, since Barry took control of what is now IAC, that's outperformed the market by about 3x. Uh, and if you look at over any period, we've generally outperformed the market. But, uh, and the third one is that if I do get access to these assets or these cash, it'll be tax inefficient. And everything we've done has been very tax efficient. We're very sort of sensitive to the tax uh, components of things. So I don't think, this is me just complaining, saying I don't think we deserve it, but, but we, <laughs> we, we just have to keep executing and telling that story. And I think over time, and it has been, it, it goes away. N nothing works better than execution. You raise for me a tantalizing question. Is there any reason shareholders shouldn't expect IAC to spin off Match probably first and subsequently Angie Home Services the way you did with Expedia? And what goes in to that decision? Well, it, it's a question I got on our earnings call this morning, and it's a question we get every uh, uh, time we're in front of investors. It's a, a totally good and, and valid one at that. We, we don't have a formula for when we spin something off. We don't have a specific set of rules. It's got to be worth this much, or it's got to have this much revenue. Or, or she's 18, and it's time to go to college. <laughs> right. It's just it's, 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 it's a confluence of events. We think about what's best for the company, the sort of subsidiary, what's best for what's left behind. And we have to optimize both of those things. And you know, there has to be a reason to do it. There has to be a value in doing it. And, and we'll constantly think about that. Like we always have, we always will. We're not in the business of empire building. We're not in the business of conglomeration for conglomeration's sake. But I think that there has been value in Match and Angie being part of IC. And I think that there can continue to be. But we also think about when spins are appropriate and, and never stop thinking about that.